Greetings Cinema 4D students. Last week I tried to do a demo on um, enveloping uh, and inverse kinematics um, and it didn't go well so I promised to make a video and this is going to be that video. You'll note what I have here is uh, you can see me, I'm the guy here. Uh, you can also see my mouse and when I click anything and you can see my keyboard especially when I hit control and stuff like that. The reason being as you know, when you're in um, Cinema 4D, you end up using a lot of buttons and switches, and I don't always remember that I use them. Um, so if I if I miss it, you'll still see it. You should be able to follow along with the video uh, without any um, any issues. Uh, you know, and the idea here is you'd have this video going along at the same time that um, you'd be working in Cinema 4D, and you can stop it. You can even fast forward it. Uh, for the parts that aren't that interesting, like this one. Uh, okay, this actually, to give you an example, and I know that this works, uh, this is a simple, simple rig uh, using a skeleton. Uh, and I'm going to show you the setup on this by just doing a new one. Uh, file, new project. Um, I'm going to throw in a cylinder. Um, I want to make sure I can see all the subdivisions. You need a lot of subdivisions for um, skeletons to work properly. Like that, and we need more than that. Let's pull this up a bit so you can see where that is. Uh, we're going to increase a bunch more height segments. Uh, rotation segments aren't such a big deal. Actually, we don't want that many height segments because we're going we're gonna to push some of these out to make uh, some other parts. Um, and I'm going to call that good, drop my tool, make it editable, and uh, we'll put a couple of, let's call them arms for lack of a better term, stick it out of it. Uh, that's a good hunk of polys there. You know what, let's do them here. And uh, Q, drop that tool, and you should allow me to, you should allow me to, yep. Uh, extrude. Ah, that's not an extrusion. I keep getting in the middle of that. Uh, extrude. And you should let me extrude all these. Am I still in extrude mode? I am in extrude mode. Control Z. Let's select four of them. Let's undo because we don't want to get that messy one there. Now we'll select all four of them. Now they should extrude pretty happily. Uh, we want to give them more subdivisions so that they'll break up nicely. Uh, but particularly that subdivision didn't do that, so let's control Z. Okay, now. Now let's see if you want to extrude. Anytime it wants to, I can really like it if it did. Uh, four, oh, close polygon hole, I'm in the wrong um, darn one. Extrude. And we should be able to get more subdivisions there. Oh, I wonder why that isn't subdividing well. Uh, options, tool, offset. Oh, this isn't live. Annoying. What I'm going to do is I'm going to deselect everything. Uh, I'm going to make sure I'm in extrude mode, which I am. Uh, and I will say, you know what? I'm not going to do that, actually. I'm going to take these four polys right here, and I'm going to delete them. I'm going to take these four polys on the other side here. I'm going to delete those. And I'm going to go into Edge, Loop Mode. And I'm going to uh, grab myself a loop. And then I'm going to close a polygon hole. Like that. And let's see if we can do it on the other side too. Like that. Good. Now I'm going to head to Polygon Land. Should be my 3 key. 
and I'm going to, we don't want to be in close polygon hole anymore, we're going to be in select, select this poly, and now let's extrude that polygon. And you're still not giving me the tools I want. I control extrude it. Now I'm going to control Z that, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to um, extrude, and then control extrude. There we go, finally. Oh, and I did two more there, but let me back that up. If I hold down control, it will uh, do the same tool again. Actually, I'm going to say I'm okay with that. That's going to be some antenna thingy or something like that. Let's try the thing on the other side. Uh, first off, we'll just try the basic extrude, which we're now getting our layers on, or our multiple things on. Uh, let's control and push that one up. Like that. Good. I don't love that this one doesn't have um, all of its subdivisions, but for what we're doing right now, this isn't that big a deal. So I'm going to leave extrusion mode, and now I'm going to put in a rig. Um, and I'm going to go to uh, all my plan views here, because it will make my life a little simpler. Uh, we go under character. We go down to the joint tool. And the way the joint tool works is when I hold down the control key, it draws me a joint. So the joints in the middle here, I'm going to make um, relatively straight. Uh, we'll start the base. I hit control, start the base and then just draw some up like that right through the middle of it. Good. Now I want to put ones into these arms. Uh, I'm going to select this one here, and then I'm going to control and start here and draw them along and do one just big one for that. And likewise, I'm going to select this joint here, and then I'm going to click here and here and here and here. And you'll see that those should all be in the middle uh, these ones aren't over here, uh, you can see. So I'm going to move them. I'm now in move mode, which is just if I don't uh, hit control, the default is in move mode. And so I can move these so they better fill in. Um, and now if we look under this tree here, you'll see I have these roots they don't really need. Um, I want this joint here and this joint here to be hooked to this joint here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this tree and drop it under four, and grab that tree and drop it under four. When it does, see what made the new bones? And then I can say goodbye to those two roots. Okay, now that's looking like an okay skeleton uh, to start with what we're doing here. Um, let's bind it now. Uh, to bind it, we uh, select everything, which I can do by, I'm actually going to start with the cylinder, because the cylinder needs to be selected too. Go to the bottom joint, those are all lit up. We go under character, the menu, we go to bind, and actually to show you, the default should be heat map, the rest of these are good. Uh, if it bound, yes, I got a skin, uh, and this actually here is the, the thing that binds it. Um, to check that it's bound, I can go under character to the weight tool, and if it's bound, uh, let's look over here. They should all change color. Uh, though actually, I can tell right here that it's not, because uh, see only one thing is changing color, that, that blue one down there. So let's fix whatever happened there. Um, I'm going to uh, ditch this vertex map by just hitting delete and I'll ditch the skin which means we're not enveloped anymore. Skin. Goodbye. Um, I don't want all of this under the cylinder so I'm going to pull it out above it like that. So now the cylinder is separate. Uh, I probably don't want to use the root as part of my um, rig so I won't. I'll start here and I'll go to here selecting all that and then I'm going to shift select the cylinder and then character bind. Oh, we still got just that one color. Why is that? Hmm. Let's stop for a moment here.